All right. Let's do the dang thing. Huh? I know what y'all thinking. Who's this crazy guy wearing a mask all on my screen right now? Well, my name is Paco Way. You can call me Paco for short. I'm an artist. I'm starting this YouTube channel so I can share with you guys what I do, how I do it, and maybe even some weird personal stuff along the way. Let's get started. Today, I wanted to share a little bit about myself with you guys, catch you up on some of my history before we really start drilling ads, some art tutorials, and showing you some of the art projects that I have going. My dream is to travel the country one day with my family. All of your support will make all of this possible for me, so thank you so much in advance. My whole life, I've wanted to be an artist. Literally, as far back as I can remember, I spent almost all of my time in my bedroom drawing. And my dad was an artist too, so I spent a lot of time asking him art questions. Hey dad, how do you draw a perfect circle? Well son, you find something that's circular and you trace it. Hey dad, how do I steady my lines and draw better lines and stuff like that? Well son, you find something with straight lines and you trace it. You get the point. I was obsessed. After countless hours, weeks, months, years, just sitting in my bedroom, drawing, missing out on pretty much my entire adolescence, I can now paint stuff like this and draw stuff like this. My dad and many other people started to recognize my skills at a very young age, and like any loving father should do, he encouraged me to follow my dream to be an artist just like him. Now my dad is a tattoo artist, so at a very young age I started spending a lot of time at the tattoo shop. I would be tracing stuff, learning how to draw stuff, helping with the customers, helping with the cleaning, learning the ways of the trade. By the time I was 14, I was convinced that tattooing was what I wanted to do with my life. So I started an apprenticeship at 14 underneath my dad. He taught me for two years everything I needed to know, and by the time I was 16, I had finished my apprenticeship and I started tattooing full time. I tattooed for 10 years. As much as I would have loved to have a normal childhood or adolescence, I am so eternally grateful for all of the time that I spent, you know, practicing and learning how to draw and do art and learning how to tattoo because it led to so many skills that are now blooming into careers and you know it was all worth it. So I am now 26 years old and after 10 years of tattooing almost every single day full time I have quit my job to pursue my true passion as an artist. Yep, turns out that tattooing wasn't my true passion. It just really wasn't guys. I loved it and I'm grateful for it but it just didn't resonate with me as strongly as I thought it was gonna. In fact, I spent so much time tattooing what other people wanted me to do all the time and trying to please the customers and never really taking charge that I got sick of tattooing. It stripped me of a lot of my passion for art. I wasn't spending any of my time drawing anymore. I wasn't spending any of my time learning new mediums. I uh, was on a, a down spiral and I was even losing passion for tattooing, so I, I quit my job. I wasn't even spending any time with my friends or family or even by myself anymore. I was always either tattooing or preparing for my next appointment. I started painting about two years ago. I randomly decided to paint a canvas one day. I was always really scared to paint. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be good at it. You know, I thought it was a really touchy process. I was not confident in myself. This was my first painting based off of a photo of me and my wife. And it turns out that I really, really love the process of painting. It resonates with me. I feel like it's a super spiritual experience when I paint. You know, I get lost in it for hours and hours and hours, and I just lose track of time, lose track of all stress in life, reconnect with the inner child. You know, I start feeling like that little kid sitting in my bedroom for hours and hours on end, just drawing stuff, painting stuff. And I love it. So that's what I do now, guys. I love painting more than anything I have ever done in my entire life, hands down. 
So over the last two years, I have slowly broke the news to my dad, who assumed I was gonna tattoo my whole life and was not expecting me to change directions. I quit my job at the tattoo shop. I prepared myself mentally. I have quit smoking. I have quit drinking. I quit anything that was toxic, causing me not to feel like I was creative anymore. And I started to really drill down on following my career as an artist and figuring out different ways to survive off of my art solely. So for Christmas last year, my wife decided to start me a TikTok page for my artwork. She shared a couple of my paintings, told everybody about our dreams, and asked people to follow me. Within a few days, a couple of her posts had gone viral, and I had gathered over 10,000 followers on TikTok, and this was all before I even knew that she'd started me an art page. Not only did this make me cry like a little baby on Christmas morning, it made me buckle down and follow my gut and it persuaded me that I need to follow my art. I need to really dive into just full-time being an artist and pursuing my dream. I took some time to myself. I prepared a bunch of artwork. I spent countless hours preparing myself mentally for the journey. And now over the last three months, I have been posting every single day to my TikTok. I have been painting every single day. And now I am proud to say that I have 18,000 followers on TikTok. I have hundreds of new followers every day. I get thousands of comments every week. And my dream is slowly but surely coming true. I now have a Facebook page for my art, Twitter for my art, Instagram, Patreon, where if you donate, you get gifts in return. Twitch, where I stream all of my artwork for you guys. I now have a website, pacaway.com where you guys can get commissions done by me, or you can purchase prints and or get original art. TikTok, which we've already gone over, so I would love for you guys to go check that out for me. It's doing really well. And of course, I have a YouTube, which you are viewing this video on, I've prepared for you guys. Links to all of my social medias are listed below in the description of this YouTube video. Here on my YouTube page, I will be uploading at least once a week, every Wednesday. And I will be teaching you guys everything I know. If you're an artist, maybe you can learn something from me. Feel free to drop a comment or a question in the comment section. Maybe I'll put it in my next video for you. In future videos, I plan on sharing with you guys my process, showing you some of the projects that I'm working on. I want to paint some hats, some hoodies, skateboard, rolling trays, handbags, fanny packs. I got some pins that I'm working on for you guys. If you're pin collectors for your hats or your shirts or whatever, saws. If you want a saw, I'm your guy. And of course, if you guys want a commission, you can contact me at my email or on my website. There is an area where you fill it out to contact me for a commission. I'd be happy to do some work for you guys. And if you're just an art lover, I will be sharing with you all of my current art projects, showing you where you can purchase some of my artwork, or if you're interested in seeing me in real life, I will keep you guys up with if I'm doing an art show, where it will be, all of that good stuff. None of this will ever be possible without each and every single one of you guys supporting me along my journey. My heart goes out to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am super excited to share this journey with you. Hit that like button if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe, and until the next video, much love.